Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarvan here with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day. In this episode, we are going to get some super fancy leather going. It's going to be super amazing. Uh, that is, unless this ends our game. A tornado destroys all buildings and trees in its path and carries away the people and animals. How terrifyingly sad and insane. So, like I said, we're going to get some uh, salt and stuff ready to roll here. And we're going to do that in processing. We get salt. We're going to grab leatherware and we're going to grab fine leather. So well, those are three tech points we have now. We are currently eh, about a quarter of the way to another one. And I think I'm going to go with barbecue after the next one. But we have those three things before it's too late. I want to see if this is going to work. So we have our shelter here. When a disaster occurs in the town, citizens enter the shelter of the casualties. However, food is not stored and need to be evacuated from shelters as soon as possible after the disaster. So we can build a handful of these guys. It, oh, it looks like they have to be built into a mountain, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. So I'm going to slow down just a touch here. And uh, we are going to try and get this as best as we can. It looks like we can get a few in here. Oh, it's only one? How many people are going to fit in this little box? That's kind of insane. Okay, well, anyways, uh, there we go. We got the shelter put in. Uh, so 100 laid stone is going to be a problem because uh, our castle's taking up most of it. We are almost uh, a tenth of the way there with the laid stone in the great castle. It's coming along. It's cool. It's awesome. But uh, it'll be a minute before that's created, of course. So set that shelter in high priority. And we'll try and save as many of our citizens as possible. We're doing pretty good. 675 citizens. I don't want to lose any of them. We've been going crazy speed wise with uh, temporary workers um, acquiring them. I mean, uh, which is crazy. I haven't gotten any immigrants for like two or three cycles of immigrants. So that's cool that we're at the point of the town now where the citizens kind of take care of themselves as far as workers and stuff go. So that's uh, that's really cool. Uh, I did throw in three more research institutes because uh, I want all the tech points. <laughs> Basically, we're doing that. I did do four more tailoring workshops, advanced tailoring, uh, because our clothes were at zero and these four have achieved up to, well, the cap of 1500 of the rough clothes and a thousand uh, cap of the down jackets. Now, I'm going to increase both of these to at least 2000. I feel like we can't ever have too many clothes. And I'm okay with clothes sitting around in our warehouses. Um, that's another thing that I want to start working on here pretty quickly. Uh, if you go to the logistics, I did get the durable storage yard, but uh, I don't care about that one. Cellar, I'm kind of interested in, but I'm not really. And then the stock is what I'm interested in the most. I think a mountain warehouse would be really cool. And this has storage center, but it's pretty big, 10 by 11. But extensive storage is awesome, and uh, that's what I want to get at. So. That's down the line. But like I said, we want to get some salt going. We want to get some leather working so we can get some fine leathers and then we can start to make custom furniture. So here we go. We got our curing workshop over on this side. Used to process fish or meat and salt into salted meat or fish. So we're going to put this guy. Oh, we'll probably put it up in our little area way up over here. Uh, here we go. Well, maybe not. We don't have a whole lot of room up here anymore, do we? So maybe we'll put we'll find another spot. Maybe we'll go over here. This is kind of our booming area. I want all uh, warehouses to be in here, but unless we get some new big ones, that might not work as well as I was thinking initially, but that's okay. We'll get some this guy right in here, carrying workshop, and then we're going to need to procure ourselves some salt somehow. Uh, is that ore by chance? Nope. We've got leather workshop and leather making workshop. Okay, so I'm not sure what the difference is, is, is here. This is a curing workshop, leather, and then leather making. I'm going to do one of each because... Why not? We have them now. And again, I'm running out of spaces. I'm definitely going to have to build another industrial area because I go a little crazy with my industrial buildings, I think, and run out of space pretty dang quickly. This will work for now. We are kind of encroaching on this logging camp, but that's okay. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to gather the plants from it. And our tornado is nearly here, and this is not finished yet. We need 30 more laid stone. Uh, I'm definitely nervous about what's going to happen here because we didn't get this done in time. I, I wish I could like shift this priority down lower and so that this one is more focused, but I guess maybe that's what the priority does. It... Oh boy. That's quite the tornado. Dude, don't break my castle. Come on. Are you kidding me game? Oh, that's that sucks. That's that really sucks. Oh, 
right through the shelter. The shelter would have mattered anyways. Oh, golly. No, my fresh neighborhood even? Come on, game. Oh, no. Oh, our sea witch. I bet you if we would have done the sky witch there, it wouldn't have been a problem with the tornado. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, it's ripping through my new neighborhood, my luxury houses. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. Oh, okay, well, nothing else is up there, but that, that sucks. That's, that really sucks. I'm, uh, I'm disappointed with the castle. That's so much work. That's so much work that we put into it that doesn't even matter now. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go through and uh, go ahead and mark all these for rebuilding, and uh, I'll be right back. Beeps. Okay, so here is our rebuilding effort. I replaced the castle. That was an easy one. I, I want one there. It sucks we lost all the bricks, laid stone, and building kits, but I mean, what can we do about that? And that is what it is. Uh, we have this gatherer marked for uh, reconstruction. Uh, kind of, a, uh, maybe I don't really need it there, but whatever. We're gonna put it in there, anyways. Uh, we got a bunch of these homes already replaced. We, ha we have a lot of displaced citizens right now. I don't know if I can see like a homeless number. Yeah, right here, 88 homeless number, uh, which really stinks. Uh, we got these homes getting rebuilt all the way up here, rebuilt and a whole bucket load of new homes up this way. That was my goal anyways, to try and take care of the homeless problem even more. Uh, we lost a whole boarding house, so that's 25 additional people that are without homes right now. So it, it was a disaster, definitely, but we're working hard to get it all replaced. Uh, but now we can go back to growing up a little bit more. So we were just talking about getting ourselves the leather workshop working, so we can do that. So this guy's calling for fine leather and seal fur. We don't have either one of those things, but we can make leather shoes out of this guy. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll leave the calf at 200. And what is this guy calling for? This guy wants salt, so we knew that. So we're going to... I'm going to let Terry just, just get paid for not doing anything, because why not? <laughs> it's fine. And uh, we'll get some salt rolling over here. So I think we have to be near the water, if I recall. Here's our curing workshop. So we can take fish and chunk of meat and make salted and salted salted meat and salted fish. So we'll do fish for now. Again, we need salt. So we're going to go over here and find the salt guy. It is the salt workshop. And we can do a couple of them over here. I think I'll do two. I like to have two of things. So we got two salt make uh, salt gatherers, salt workshops, getting us some salt. And that will be done momentarily. I did put four more warehouses over here uh, just so we have the space. And then I replaced the shelter that was destroyed by the tornado over here. I'm kind of wondering. Oh, you know what? I think it was destroyed because it wasn't a completed shelter yet. It was just the construction site. And maybe that's why I was going to say, I'm wondering what the point of the shelter is. If, you know, the tornado comes by and it just wipes it out anyways. But uh, I think that's what the deal was here. So we're going around town. Our our plantation project is totally complete now. We got everything replaced. Lots of crops going on. We're doing good on food. I said that last time, but I think we're still okay. It's been a couple of seasons and we haven't dipped down to zero again. It's going to be one of those things we're going to have to keep working on because we're going to keep gathering new people around. All of our corrals are done over here, which is amazing. But what's weird is I'm getting zero fodder. So we have two fodder workers right here and i think it's just they aren't producing enough to keep up with the demand is what's going on here i don't even think yeah so our donkeys have the 12 percent fodder geese have some yeah and it's just not making it around i think is the problem so i think what we'll do to fix that is since we're at 141 temporary workers let's throw a couple more in here and we'll get some more fodder factory we'll have to find a balance on that guy i do want a couple more corrals uh probably before move down this way we do have some alpacas that are still in the pasture here, so let's go ahead and we'll put some more corrals in. And I think I'll just do a whole nother row because I think we're going to need all the leather and all that other stuff eventually, uh, assuming that we don't get wiped out by something else. So that'll be good for now. We'll get that queued up and ready to roll. Lots of people running down there to get started on it already. It's awesome. Uh, we are at cap here, 2000. I think that's good. We'll keep an eye on it. We went crazy on the clothing, but I didn't want to have it as a problem anymore. I didn't show this in the last episode when we made this. Uh, you did use it as the thumbnail, but this, this is what we ended up doing with the, um, the ocean witch here. I thought it looked kind of cool. We're still waiting on the uh, road to get built in here, but I put some flowers in there, a cart, you know. I'm not very good at the decoration thing, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, did I miss these homes? Nope, they're just not quite there yet. And then our sky witch is over here, uh, right here. I think this one's really cool looking. Oh, that's neat. 
uh, I did want to try out the Rubik's Cube, but before I miss this again, uh, I want this to be a iron mine. Yep. Because we were getting low on iron and I went around town and I had to uh, scoop up as much iron that I could see. Interesting. Um, I think I'll just go with... Ooh, this needs to be coal. Definitely needs to be coal. We're running really low on uh, domestic fuels. So we'll do that. Another five more people working on the coal mine. That'll bring a couple more pieces in. Now let's find that Rubik's Cube guy. I think that was up over here. There it is. That was easy. So we have a magical Rubik's Cube worshipped by the locals. Anyone who throws a coin into it can make a wish and cause a random item to appear. So let's do it. We got 99 lamb. I'm assuming that's lamb meat. Yeah, must be. Was, that'd be cool if you... I guess they would call that sheep, wouldn't they? But then, isn't the lamb meat called mutton? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have horse, donkey, and chunk of meat, but no mutton. So that, that must be the same thing. The same would have been neat if we got a bunch of sheeps. Look at how many silver coins we have. Holy cow. So what other stuff do we want to have? Ooh, what are you? I don't know what you are. <laughs> uh, just a guy hanging out. It looks like a horse to me. But I didn't do an order, and I don't see anything in the inventory. Maybe I just... Let's, let's go back over here. We hit a corral, and we have... Uh, this... Yeah, I wonder what that guy is. Just hanging out over there. Hmm, anyways, we gotta do... I think we want to order some stuff, but I'm not sure what I want to order yet. I wish I could just order tech points. <laughs> Be sweet. Okay, there's two seeds that I want to grab. Uh, one of them being mulberry, and the other is gonna be... I'm gonna go with apple. Uh, mulberry for silk, and apple for a fruit for jam. And then we're gonna get that in a little bit. I have plenty uh, of gold... or gold... Plenty of silver coin to order this stuff. You know, while we're at it, I think I'm gonna grab some tea seeds. And cocoa is chocolate, so let's go ahead and we'll grab that. Why not, right? And uh, maybe that's it for now. We don't really need anything else, I don't think. Uh, if you know something that I don't have or don't know about yet that you need, let me know and we can get that ordered up for sure. Um, I would like to check out the luxury homes need to upgrade because I probably won't upgrade much more, much past the uh, luxury homes, if at all. So let's just see. I probably lost everything I just got, didn't I? Um, so we could get some kittens. Definitely want some kittens around here. So let's do that. So how many do we need here? So each looks like we need two kittens per house. And I mean, let's just get as many as we can get, right? That, that's a, a whole ship of kittens. Look at that. That'd be insane. <laughs> All right. So let's get those seeds uh, queued up again. I did lose them. So we're going to have our apple seed, mulberry seed, tea seeds, and cocoa seeds. I think we're the ones that I wanted to get. We got an apple. Yep, and then we'll go up here and let's get as many kittens as we can get. So let's see. I have... How much are they a piece? Uh, I can get nine kittens. So if each house it takes two, I'm going to do eight. So every kitten has a home. And we'll get that order up. And then we can get some stuff upgraded. And we do... We did get those gears for free, remember? So uh, that was our in our technology, the gears for mining. This right here. We got that for free. Uh, we'll have to do that in the forge, it looks like. That's this guy building kits. So I think we should do some gears. Oh, but before we do gears, you have to turn steel tools into gears. The steel demand and the iron demand is real. Holy cow. Well, good thing we just got these uh, other mines working, right? So I don't think this is going to be enough. So we'll probably do another mine just for that demand. Uh, it's kind of tricky to find a good mining spot. So I just snapped the one right over here, of course. Almost. Uh, just because the, they're kind of goofy and I don't want to build the mines that just sit on top of the ground. I could just do like a strip of them, I guess. It would be like whatever, but... Oh, we could maybe go on this side. We'll do one right in here, like that. And then maybe on this side. Okay, there we go. We got two more coming in. Uh, these are going to probably... One was definitely going to be iron, and we'll probably have to do one being coal to try and keep up with this demand on all this stuff. And then... I'll probably do another iron mine a little bit later just to try and get that extra that we are definitely gonna need the delivery ship has arrived with our order excellent excellent oh let's see if we can see these kittens um no no kittens on the dock that would be a neat little thing to make have the kittens show up on the dock uh so we got to go over here to our luxury homes and we'll just start working our way over i don't think we'll be able to see these yet not yet oh look at that i do have a point uh, so I'm going to go with stock for now and we'll get the silk later because I want to see what this stock looks like because that's super exciting. 
if you watch my uh, Kingdoms Reborn gameplay at all, you know how much I flip and love the warehouses. And I think these are just going to be awesome warehouses. Okay, so we got the mountain one. Let's just check this guy out. Ooh, we we can, can get this guy. Come on. Mm, not quite. Maybe on this side. Okay, yeah, we'll put that there uh, just because I want to see it. And we'll definitely go around and get, get some more of these guys placed in. I just want to quick see if we can find any. Uh, look at this storage center. Holy cow, that is huge. I knew it was going to be big, but... Oh, man, and our uh, cemeteries are filled up again. I can't... Two things I can't keep up with very easily. The dang old cemeteries and uh, the amount of homes I need for everybody. So two tricky things for me, definitely. I'm going to stick that guy there. I probably will... That's kind of a crappy spot for it, but that's what I got to do for now. You know what I could do? We could just put it in a couple over here. That, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll move our cemeteries out of the middle of the town. They don't really need to be in the middle of the town, do they? So maybe we can go... Maybe we'll go over here. We'll make a huge one. And we'll make another huge one. And these two will be the two that I'm working with. Uh, guys? We got another tornado coming. Uh, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know what I did to make all of the, uh, the tornado gods mad at me, but... We're going to get hit by another one here. Uh, so over here, I got another soap workshop coming in. Two of them, actually. Uh, one's for the medicinal soap, one's for the regular soap. I'm trying to get a surplus to upgrade our bathhouses. I haven't been able to do so yet. Uh, just in time for me to finish almost all of our buildings that got destroyed. We got another tornado on the way. Uh, we have... I think we have everybody who in a home now, except for... Well, we got these boarding houses that still are full, but... Uh, I think our shelter is... Oh, it's not even, it's not even done yet, dude. That stinks. Uh, we're going to have to see what happens. But we got our salt workshops here on the right. Uh, we have our amazing fields done. Oh, I put some orchards down over here. So these are our groves and our groves. Apple tree and our mulberries that we got. I think tea is grown in the nursery. Let me uh, let me, let me check here. Uh, yeah, teas and cocoa are here. So we're going to need some more nurseries. So that's fine. Uh, 49 citizens are homeless. What? I thought I had this worked out. Where's our tornado hitting? Oh, right through the town again. Right the same path, practically. That stinks, dude. What? Oh, come on now. Uh, oh, there's a sawmill I needed right there. Uh, this was our warehouses. Oh, we're crying out loud. Stinking tornadoes. Uh, I wonder how long I'm going to have to deal with tornadoes. Okay, so I'm going to slow this down here. And uh, we got our salt working. We got our leather up and running. It's not probably good enough yet, but we got the one working. So that's what we wanted to do this episode. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Thanks for supporting the people in the in their crisis two in a row. I don't know what's going on here. We'll have to get these tornadoes figured out and get some shelters built. But thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you on the next episode of Settlement Survival.